Am I the asshole for being honest about how I felt about my son's girlfriend? Throwaway account. I, 54 female, am a mother of two children who I love very much. Unfortunately, my son, 28, was hurt after his girlfriend, 26 female, cheated on him. In my opinion, his first mistake was getting back together with her and the second was telling me the reason why they ended the relationship the first time. Back in the 1980s I had an older cousin, who I loved dearly, and she put up with her boyfriend's cheating and he gave her HIV, AIDS. She didn't live long after being diagnosed and the sight of her dying in her hospital bed is still very vivid to me. Since then, I've despised all cheaters and would never put up with it myself. Ask my ex-husband. My son knows all of this and he still choose to tell me what his girlfriend did now expects me to act like nothing has happened because he wants the relationship to work. I told my son I will never view or treat his girlfriend the same, and even tried to list the dangers of taking her back but he says he's in love and wants to work things out. Once I realized that it was useless I stopped being vocal about it but I kept true to my word about treating her differently. I'm aloof and distant when she's around and try to speak to her as little as possible. For the sake of my son I won't be outwardly mean to the girl but he can't force me to like her. In the end I guess my attempts weren't good enough because my son called me and asked me to go back to being the loving and warm person I used to be towards her. I told him me not calling her a filthy liar was as nice as I would get. I didn't realize that I was on speaker or that his girlfriend heard me until I heard her crying. Now my son is upset and wants to be apologize but I don't feel like I should because a. she is a liar, b. I wouldn't have said if I had known she was listening and c. everyone close to me knows how I feel about cheaters and I don't feel like I should have to lie about my views to appease others. Am I the asshole for being honest with my son about how I feel about his girlfriend? Not the asshole. The girlfriend is the main asshole here for obvious reasons. Your son shouldn't have put you on speakerphone when you believed you were having a private conversation, nor can he dictate how you should feel about a situation. If he wants to forgive her then that's his choice but he can't tell you she did something terrible to him and expect you to pretend it never happened. Someone once said to me, don't ask something if you're not prepared for an ugly truth, your son asked you to go back on your word, you stood your ground, and his girlfriend was eavesdropping. They're both clearly in the wrong here. Not the asshole, and I hope your son stops devaluing himself by staying with this woman. Not the asshole, you can't change the way you view her now cause of what she did. If she didn't want to be labeled a liar or a cheater she shouldn't have done it in the first place. In my opinion she's reaping what she has sow. I'm also a firm believer that you don't have to be nice to people who you lost respect for. Your actions have consequences and she's not going to learn that if there isn't any repercussions. She hasn't proved to you or him that she's a changed person, he should have dumped her. All I would say to your son is fool me once shame on you, fool me twice shame on me. Everyone sucks here except your son. The girlfriend, obviously, sucks for cheating, and I think we all know that. You, however, suck because you are going way overboard. It's not your relationship, and your son is an adult of almost 30 years old more than capable of making his own decisions, so chill the hell out. You're entitled to feel however you want, but your actions will have consequences, and if you carry on the way you are I'm pretty sure you'll end up pushing your son away. As you said in your post, he made a mistake telling you why they'd broken up, do you want him to see telling you things as a mistake? Because, if he does, it's not going to stop him doing things you don't approve of, he's just going to stop sharing things with you or avoid you to avoid your disapproval. Not the asshole. You're entitled to your feelings and it was a bit of a dick move on your son's part to put you on speakerphone with girlfriend in the room when he was broaching what he knew would be a sensitive subject. Not the asshole your son can't force you to like his gf, you dislike her for a very good reason. I hope your son at least got himself checked for any STDs. Not the asshole. It's hard to believe your son is close to 30, he acts like a teenager. He can't force you like someone and you being respectful enough to simply keep it to yourself. As for the being on the speaker, his fault. He pretty much set you up there knowing exactly how you feel instead of speaking one-on-one -on -one and then gets upset about it. He needs to grow the hell up instead of seeking for approval. Your son made his bed and needs to learn to live in it. A. Not the asshole. 
You didn't stop him from dating her. You're not actively being mean towards her, but just treating her like an acquaintance. You're not obligated to be a loving future mill who takes her shopping or whatever. I'm curious whose idea it was to put you on the speakerphone? Everyone sucks here here. The question is do you love your son more than you hate cheating? If so, then you need to figure out a way to make this work, because what if she is long-term? Wedding. Kids. You keep distancing yourself, and eventually they will too. Try to talk with her one-on-one. -on -one. Have an honest conversation about why you feel the way you do. Listen to her. She may not have a great excuse. And you will have to figure that out. At the end of the day, this is not about her but your relationship with your son. And we all do things for our kids we never thought we would do. Not the asshole. Your son keeping you on speakerphone, without letting you know, was a breach of privacy. I do not know why is he going so much out of his way to demonstrate to his girlfriend that all is well. His girlfriend burst into tears because she was called out as a cheat. Not the asshole. You are upfront and honest about it with your son, have given your feelings and views on the matter and aren't going out of your way to make his and her relationship miserable. Sounds like he is letting his emotions control his mind and isn't making rational choices when it comes to the relationship. You are entitled to your views and feelings and don't need to change them because your son asks you to. Esh. I don't know. I'm a big believer that if the injured party is trying to forgive and work past it, their friends and family should at least not be openly unsupportive of that. I also think it depends on a lot. Did she have a several month long affair? Or did she drunkenly kiss someone in a bar, and immediately call your son and confess to it? What steps is she taking to fix her behavior? I also think this is a, you can be right or you can be happy, kind of thing. You can refuse a relationship with her if that's what you need to do, but you need to know that that may lead to you losing your relationship with your son and if they stay together, any future grandchildren as well. Not the asshole, and that is the exact same reason I never tell my parents when my husband and I are having an argument. It's none of their business and it would change the way they feel about him. It is also the reason I can longer have a good relationship with my Bill, because my sister OBCE told me what he said to her after she had her third miscarriage. I can no longer see eye to eye with him, even tough it had been six years. You are the asshole. She didn't kill your cousin. Your son is a grown man. He has decided to forgive her and you can assume that she may be around for a long time. If you carry on the way you are and they stay together I really wouldn't expect to be part of your son's life for more than a few more years. I wouldn't tolerate this kind of behavior towards a long-term partner or potential spouse. You're taking out your unresolved trauma on her. She did do a shitty thing by cheating on your son but now she's staying. Either accept it now and be civil or risk the relationship with your son. Not the asshole. Cheaters, quite frankly, deserve less. Your bare minimum is already too much. Good on you for even being civil. Not the asshole your son is a fool for taking her back and for having you on speakerphone when talking to you, what did he think would you say? Info, are you willing to risk your relationship with your son over this? I totally get your perspective but am worried that you might lost him over this. Not the asshole, I mean you're entitled to your feelings and from the moment you don't insult her to her face, he can't force you to act warm towards Solion you don't like. If you knew she was on speaker and had said what you said, maybe, you would have been an uh but you said you wouldn't have said that then. Your son didn't tell you that she was listening which is shitty of him. She is shitty for being a cheater and expect you to go back to being loving and warm after what she did to your child and having your son call you about that. Not the asshole just like you I don't like cheaters either. I can never look at that person the same again and I treat them differently as well just like you with your son GF. But what gets me is everyone keeps say she made a mistake so on so forth but if it was the other way around and you had a daughter and her boyfriend cheated she took him back everyone be. You're doing the right thing he's no good, or, once a cheater always a cheater, just keep in mind as if she does do him wrong again, not say she will or won't never know, be there for your son don't do the whole told you so song and dance. Just let him know you're there for him. Not the asshole. I think you have constrained yourself calling her, filthy liar, myself. Personally I think, cheating less than removed, would have been more on fleek. You are the asshole you're punishing your son for being cheated on. 
he should be able to feel comfortable having his girlfriend and mother around each other, but you are deliberately making it a stressful situation. He has decided to forgive his girlfriend and whilst you don't have to be happy about it you need to listen to his decision and stop this hostile environment you've created, or you will only push him away. Not the asshole. You can forgive but you can't forget. If she finds it so hard being labeled as a cheater and it is a genuine mistake. She should take the lesson learned and find someone else so she won't have that stigma. Not the asshole you don't have to be warm and loving to someone you don't like. And to all the people saying, but the son forgives her so you should too. I would like to remind you that lots of domestic violence victims forgive and go back to their abusers. Would you expect his mother to forgive the girlfriend if she punched the son as well? You have a right to be angry at a person who hurt your son, his forgiveness and yours are not linked. I understand your feelings but as a mom you need to be a support to your son. If he views you as someone he can't go to because of grudges you hold then that takes away support that he will need during his lifetime. So, is it more important to keep the supportive role for your son to come to you when life gets hard or to hold this grudge? You don't have to be her friend and you can even have the adult conversation with her that you are disappointed in her. But think about what you want your end game to be. For me it would be making sure my son knew that I would be there for him and making sure he was comfortable with coming to me. Not the asshole putting you on speakerphone and not telling you as a dick move. You already told him you wouldn't treat her the same. This is on him. Not the asshole. You're justified to feel the way you do. She hurt your son. I'm sorry but I think he's a fool for taking her back. Who's to say she won't do it again? Not the asshole you're entitled to act how you want to her in this scenario, just like your son is entitled to get back together with her. I agree it's a colossal mistake, if they cheated once they'll cheat again. I hope for your son's sake that she actually is trying to work things out with him and won't fuck around again. You are the asshole. What you went through with your cousin is awful but it's your trauma and your son's girlfriend didn't cause it. Yes cheating is awful but sometimes good people do bad things. Relationships aren't as black and white as you're making them out to be. People can show remorse for their behavior and they can change. If your son is willing to forgive her and the two of them want to work on their relationship then that is their right. Not the asshole. Your son is a fool for taking back a cheater. He's so desperate that he wants his own mother to apologize to his cheating gf. Not the asshole, he hood have told you you were on speaker. Also I think you are right on cheaters. Not the asshole, your son should have never had you on speaker. He knew that cheating is a deal breaker for you. Expecting you to go back to how you used to treat her is not a reasonable expectation of his part. Not the asshole your son knew how you felt and you were mostly cordial and respected his wishes. Also you didn't know she was on speaker phone. I hope he learns from this. Not the asshole long ago when I was newly married, we were going through a rough patch and I called my grandma. Among other things, she told me to never tell family or close friends about big fights or issues in my marriage. I asked why not, because that seemed ridiculous to me. She said, because you will make up and forgive him, but they never will. I really think that holds true here. Mom was not privy to all the tears and apologies and discussions and promises that were likely made in this situation. All she knows is that her son was devastated and now he's letting the person who hurt him back in his life and heart. Any mother would be at least uncomfortable with this. To expect her to welcome the girlfriend back with open arms as if she has amnesia is unreasonable. Not the asshole this is why you do not share your relationship problems with others. And she is only a girlfriend and not even a wife so he is being foolish to work it out with her. Perhaps if they were married I could see him going to marriage therapy go see if the marriage can be saved but if you are only dating someone and they cheat, get self-respect and leave. Not the asshole. If your son was going to allow his girlfriend to listen in on his conversation with you, it is on both of them if they don't like he what they heard. Your son is an asshole for putting you in speaker phone and allowing her to listen without your knowledge. She was an asshole for listening in. If she didn't like what she heard, she shouldn't have been listening in. Not the asshole. Your son is 28, not 14, and he should accept that his girlfriend is not entitled to your love. Plus, if he is a real adult then he should know to run STD tests for himself at least once a year. 
Not the asshole. You were supposedly having a private conversation with your son. If the girlfriend didn't want to hear the dead ass truth, then she shouldn't have been listening. In another sense, she shouldn't have cheated on your son either. Oof. Poor son manipulated heart. N-T-A. Op, please get some therapy for the trauma you went through. And then please allow your son to be happy, and try to be happy for him. Even if you have to pretend, try and give the poor guy a break. He's your son and an adult, and if this is his choice, please try to respect that. I'm afraid if you continue like this, you might lose your relationship with him. No one is the asshole, everyone here just makes me sad for them. I strongly advise you to stay out of your son's personal relationships. Smile sweetly, nod and be cordial to his girlfriend but it's not your place to judge her or despise her. Your son picked her and he chose to go back to her after she cheated. Stay out of it. Not the asshole. You want me to go back to being the loving and warm person I was? I want her to go back to being the faithful partner I hoped she was. Not the asshole. Big red flag if she doesn't understand that she needs to work hard to gain back some respect after her actions. Unpopular opinion, but you are the asshole. Your son made the decision to get back together and make his relationship with his girlfriend work, his words in fact. There is probably more at play here than you realize, and that is between them. Maybe he wasn't as supportive as he should have been. Maybe it was a moment of weakness after a prolonged period in which there was little affection and it truly was a mistake. Whatever the reasoning, he is a grown adult and responsible for his own decisions. The least you could do is be cordial. Since then, I've despised all cheaters and would never put up with it myself. Ask my ex-husband. My son knows all of this and he still choose to tell me what his girlfriend did now expects me to act like nothing has happened because he wants the relationship to work. So, you have irrationally strong beliefs that you project onto other people, and blame them for sharing confidences with you. Yep, you are the asshole. Op, I think you should really consider therapy to resolve the anger you have and work through your feelings from losing your cousin. I'm sure that was incredibly painful. But I think you risk losing your son if you can't find a way to work through these feelings. Also, it's completely possible that your son and his girlfriend will be able to work through this and live happy lives together. If they do, is this the way you want to feel during all your interactions with them? It sounds emotionally draining. Esh, as there is a lot to unpack on all sides. But just remember, this woman could be the mother of your grandchild, Ren, in the not too distant future. Unpopular opinion but you are the asshole. Treating people with respect even though you don't like them is just part of being a grown-up. My mom has always dated and married bad people. They can be controlling, manipulative and mean. The last man she married was a serial cheater. It was my mom's choice to marry and stay with him. It is not my battle to fight, just like this is not your battle to fight up. I was kind and polite around him while they were together. Once she made the choice that she had enough and kicked him out, he reached out seeing if he could still be friends with me and my sisters. This was the appropriate time I could tell him to FCK off. Not the asshole speakerphone suck. Son is to blame. Should not have told mama about the cheating if he would even consider getting back with girl. Mom can't help how she feels and son undoubtedly knew how she felt about filthy cheaters. Using the phone on speaker is a shitty thing to do. If girlfriend doesn't want mom to think she's a cheat she should stick to only one penis at a time. Not the asshole. Esh. Well you and the girlfriend your son's girlfriend did a shitty thing, but you can't seem to separate that from the pain of losing your cousin. The girlfriend cheated. She did not give your cousin aids. You are going way, way overboard with this. In the end the only thing you're going to accomplish is damaging your relationship with your son. Get some therapy for your grief and find a way to be civil to the person your son loves.